Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Foxtech, and today we're going to dive into a question that many of you might be wondering about. Where exactly are your scanned documents saved on your iPhone? If you've ever used your iPhone to scan documents, you know it's a super convenient feature. However, finding where those scanned documents are saved can be a bit confusing. In this video, I'll walk you through the different methods of scanning documents on your iPhone, and more importantly, where those documents end up being stored. First, let's talk about the most common way people scan documents on their iPhones, which is through the Notes app. This is probably the method you're already using, and in my opinion, it's the best one. The Notes app makes it incredibly easy to scan documents directly into a note. All you need to do is start a new note, tap on the camera icon, and begin scanning. Once you're finished, you'll see a button that says Keep Scan. After clicking on that, make sure to tap the Save button to finalize everything. Now, at this point, your scanned document is saved, but it's saved within that specific note in the Notes app. While that might be convenient for some people, it's probably not where you ultimately want to keep important documents. Fortunately, the Notes app gives you options. You can tap on the Scanned Documents button, which allows you to save the document to the Files app. This is the most convenient option in my opinion because once it's in the Files app, you can do a lot more with it. You can share it, print it, or organize it into folders. If you're looking for a way to keep your scanned document accessible across all your devices, here's a great tip. You can click on the Share button after scanning and email it to yourself. This not only sends a copy to your email, but it also saves the document in your email's cloud storage, making it accessible from anywhere. Of course, if you use Google Drive or another cloud service, you can also share your scanned document directly to that service and keep it stored there. Now, let's say you want to move the scanned document out of the Notes app without going through the Files app. You can do this too. Simply click on the specific scan from within your note, then tap on the Copy button. From there, you can paste it wherever you like, whether that's in a different app, an email, or another location on your iPhone. While the Notes app is a solid choice for most people, there are also third-party apps available for scanning documents. Apps like Cam Scanner and a few others are quite popular. I'm not affiliated with any of these apps, but they do offer some additional features that might be useful depending on your needs. However, keep in mind that many of these apps have a paid version, so not all features may be available for free. When you scan documents using these apps, the documents are typically saved within the app itself. To get them out, you'll need to use the app's export feature, which will allow you to share the document or save it to your files app. So, whether you're using the Notes app or a third-party app, it's important to understand where your scanned documents are going and how to manage them effectively. By knowing these options, you can keep your documents organized and accessible whenever you need them. Thanks for watching! I hope this video helped you get a better understanding of where your scanned documents are saved on your iPhone. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Foxtech for more tech tips and tutorials. See you guys later!